This episode is brought to you by Cloud Pano. Adding more revenue to your business is simple. Offer more value. With cloudpano.com, you can create 360 virtual tours and present them to your clients quickly and efficiently. It only takes five minutes to create a VR tour on cloudpano.com and your clients will be thrilled. Plus, with the active community, you will constantly be supported by fellow digital media entrepreneurs just like you. Join the movement and try cloudpano.com today. Make sure to use the free demo and pre-sell your first virtual tour client. Then grab a Pro Plus membership. Get started for free at cloudpano.com. This is Shooting Spaces with Rich Baum and Brian Berkowitz. Hello and welcome to Shooting Spaces. This is Brian from New York. And Rich Baum from Sacramento, California. And what's going on, Rich? Fall is uh, upon you out in uh, California, getting cold. Fall huh? is, it, it's gotten cooler. It's still not what the back east is, but it's just gorgeous today. And it's been raining, but it's good. And uh, dealing with all that rain um, cancellations and delays and it just forget it, man. Everybody out there, just uh, roll with it. Don't get mad at your clients that don't let you know. Um, and just uh, going against all my rules because... It's Christmas time, and and I want I don't want to worry about stuff. I don't want to get too amped out. So. No, I hear we had our first snowstorm of the year earlier this mm-hmm. week, so it's uh, it started. But yeah. um, I guess I shouldn't complain about the snow being as uh, one of our guests today is from Minnesota. But uh, let's get right to it because I think we're making shooting spaces history today. This is the first time we have. <laughs> two guests on our podcast. So Rich's mind is blown, but um, <laughs> it's been 85 episodes and I think we've never had two guests at the same time. So welcome you both and thanks for making Shooting Spaces history with us. So I want to mm-hmm. welcome Jordan Powers, who's been on before with us, um, I think I think once, twice, I don't know, once, twice with us. And um, Nick Swartzen Druber, I hope I pronounced that right. I hope I didn't butcher it. You know, I thought my last name was bad, but you definitely take the cake on that one. So <laughs> thanks for coming on with us, Nick. The reason we're bringing you guys on is because um, you guys are, well, I guess you came out with, released yesterday, a video tutorial, The Art of Real Estate Cinematography. Did I get that right? The Art of Real Estate Cinematography. And um, it's a full-fledged, really comprehensive video tutorial on shooting real estate video. So we're going to get into the nitty gritty because it's really um, in-depth and in detail. Before we do that, I know, um, Jordan, you've been on before, so I don't want to go through your, you know, the whole Megilla, but just give the quick uh, one minute rundown on your background just for people that might not know who you are or haven't listened to the previous episode. And then we'll um, let Nick um, give us a little bit of uh, his background. Yeah, so I'm Jordan. I'm uh, based in Minnesota, Southern Minnesota. I have a real estate photography business. And uh, the last year or so, I've been really focusing on growing my uh, interiors and architecture photography uh, side of the business. And um, video I've been doing since, I've been doing video for years since uh, real estate since about 2013. And uh, this last year I started realizing that I just wasn't really getting any better and um, wanted to do something different, especially I wanted to do something with uh, for my architecture clients. And I just knew I needed to step my game up and I've been seeing Nick's work and uh over the last year and that's why i reached out to him and that's that's all i have to say about that all right cool um so nick you're based out of california is that correct uh yeah northern california all right so i'm not sure i guess that's uh, rich's neck of the woods over there yeah. um i've had uh, the uh the good fortune to uh have met and work with nick and i got to visit both of them on the uh filming of the podcast so it's right just the northeast of the tutorial, uh, northeast of uh, Sacramento. So, uh, Nick, tell us about your beautiful, where you live, beautiful place. Yeah, so I live, um, you know, within an hour away from Lake Tahoe, three hours away from, two to three hours away from the bay. Um, you know, we're in the foothills, so uh, lots of trees, um, you know, beautiful homes, beautiful landscapes, and it's a great place to run my business, and I couldn't be happier. Nevada City, California, and it's special for Christmas time. And Nevada City is this is. storybook Christmas. Uh, really cool. Really cool. So, so tell us about your business, uh, Nick. What's the uh, business name and, and who you got it with and what you guys doing? So um, my personal business is Drone Cowboys. I've been doing it for the last seven to eight years. Um, started off with, you know, um, 
a little Sony NEX 5N camera and a you know custom built drone and started doing large properties, ranches and farms. And that kind of, you know, um, led me to doing more luxury estates and um, luxury homes. And then I wanted to be kind of a one-stop shop. So I got into real estate photography as well. So, I mean, it's kind of a, you know, I do both real estate photography and video, but specialize in doing kind of lifestyle films that evoke more emotion than your standard, just real estate video. Yeah. Great. And tell me what's that uh, bad boy thing over uh, your right shoulder. What the heck is that thing? Holy so God. that's a custom built X8 uh, drone that I built uh, probably a year ago. And so it can lift, you know, anything from, you know, a DSLR up to a full cinema camera. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a huge drone and it's, um, it's actually fun to fly. It flies really stable and it's not, it's not as agile as the smaller ones, but um, it's definitely fun to fly. Great. What's the max weight on that thing that can hold? Uh, 25 pounds. Wow. We, <laughs> so to lift a small person uh, a small person yeah, yeah. <laughs> my son's only 22 pounds so oh, so he lift him <laughs> <laughs> awesome um so yeah i do have to say i you know i've seen a lot of your work and i've been following it for a little bit of time and i do really mm -hmm. like your style you know your use of voiceover especially in some of your i guess ranch films as you call mm -hmm. them and you know the accent on that voiceover artist you use is fantastic and a really Marlboro man <laughs> exactly a manly man Excellent. cool so let's get right into it because there's a lot to discuss here um so um i don't know who <laughs> the best person to answer this is but how did this whole idea come about to come out with a course for real estate video jordan you want to take this one yeah you know i don't think nick had ever even i I don't, know, I, mean, I don't want to speak for you, but I don't think you would ever thought about doing a course. I mean, I just don't get that impression from you, and which is one of the reasons I reached out. So just to back up, in the intro, I said that, you know, I've been focusing more on architecture, uh, photography in the last year or so. And um, I wanted to also start offering video as part of that for architecture clients. And, you know, I've been doing video for a long time, not just in real estate, but corporate video and prom promotional video. So I, I know what I'm doing, but I just... I was kind of lacking the creative muscle and uh, I knew that if I wanted to start offering this to architecture clients that I had to, I couldn't just do like a standard walkthrough video like we do with real estate. And, you know, there's been over the last year or year or two, especially you've, we've seen a lot of um, just developments and not development, I don't even know that's the right word, but just evolution in real estate video where we've gone away from um, like slideshows basically don't exist anymore. Um, but people are doing a lot of like fast paced, um, you know, effect filled or transition filled, um, high energy real estate videos. And, you know, they look cool, but they weren't really, they didn't really match my brand. And I even experimented with that a little while, like a while back and it just, it never felt right. Um, and I did, they just felt kind of gimmicky, but then I started seeing Nick's work over the last, I don't know, year, year and a half. And I was, you know, I chimed in from time to time, but I, like literally, and I'm not just, Nick, you didn't know I was going to say this, but I, I was literally just like, I'd watch your videos over and over like three or four mm -hmm. times because like they, they caught me, you know what I mean? It wasn't, and it's not so much the way that he, um, I don't know, there was just no gimmicks. It was all, I mean, cinematography really, like it's very carefully chosen camera angles and, you know, he would do things in, in his movements to like, I guess sucked me further into the, to the film. You know what I mean? And before I knew it, I was all the way to the end of the film and I, like, I had to watch it again. And literally, if you guys go back in any of the real estate video groups and you search Nick's name, you'll see everything he's posted over the last year, like everybody goes crazy over them because they're just, they're different. You know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, sorry. I, I, not, I hope I'm not like making you blush or anything, Nick, but <laughs> no, I'm just saying, so like, <laughs> All that to say, it's like, I, I, I wanted to learn how he did it. And I, I could probably tell you, break down technically what he was doing, but I, there was just something about what he was doing that I just, I wanted, I needed to know how he thought about it. So I, I originally was going to reach out to him and just like ask him some questions, but it's like, I don't know, you can't really, there's only so much you can learn by asking questions and I, I, you kind of just have to see somebody work. So I was going to ask him, Hey, do you have any plans to make a course anytime soon? But then I was like, you know what, what if, what if it was just a random thought, uh, he had some interest in making a course like, and, and I could go out there and film it. And, um, 
really just basically make a course that had the answer to all of my questions. And ultimately that's where it came from. So like I started jotting down what I wanted to know. I started writing, writing out all the questions that I possibly had for him. And I built like a little mini curriculum and before I even approached him. And um, yeah, so I, I, I just, then one day in mid September of this year, uh, 2019 at the time of recording this, I sent him a message saying, Hey, would you be interested in making a course? And it took him like five days to get back to me, <laughs> but, uh, he eventually did. And he said, yeah, sure. And I, I like, you know, not that, but we, we just kind of talked about it a little bit. And then literally less than a month later, we were, I was in Northern California, uh, filming it. So, well, that's crazy because, you know, this we're mid December now when, you know, you're releasing the course. So you're talking about the, it went from idea to release in literally three months, which is, yeah. Probably, I mean, it, it is insane, and I can, I can, you can probably count on uh, two hands the amount of hours you slept over the last three months. Um, but um, kudos for you for getting this done in in three months and, and getting it released so quickly. Yeah, it's you know, there's been um, some people are kind of wondering like, how did we get this done so fast? And it's it's literally, I, we both him and I just became obsessed with it, and we um, I've literally spent over. It's, it's about at 70, about 70 hours of editing right now. And, uh, we, we did over 50 hours of filming and even this last week we were filming, like refilming some things that we just didn't really have dialed in the way we wanted. Um, and you know, it, it's like, we've, we've <laughs> a lot of time has gone into this, but the main reason we wanted to get it released now is because come, come November, December, most of the country in the world starts slowing down. You know what I mean? And come spring, nobody's going to have time to, you know, learn. So it's like uh, we wanted to get out, get it out in time, you know, before the holidays, um, well, around the holidays, just so people had time to sit down and actually watch it and learn something new so that they could hit the 2020 season, you know. Sure. And I think the timing's perfect because, um, especially for people, you know, I have a little bit of a video background, but for people that have never done video before, not only is it a whole new medium to learn how to shoot, but there's also the whole editing um, side of things also. And releasing at this point gives people, you know, two, three months, maybe even four months, depending on where you are to really kind of hone their craft and get better and learn everything they need to learn. So when they kick in the spring with their, uh, you know, their busy season, they, they can add this to their services and they're ready to go. They don't have to start learning on the fly. So cool. let's, uh, let's, you know, I have your curriculum here um, and it's pretty in depth. I think, what do you have? Like, I don't even know, 30, 40 videos on the, on here. Uh, there's close to 80 videos actually. 80 videos. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, uh, I'm, you know, <laughs> Definitely just a little just, bit scroll, off. Scroll down a little bit. There's, there's more. But. Yeah, and they're ranging from one and two minutes to eight minutes and uh, it's a lot of five minute videos. So they just go one to yeah. another. And, and, and again, yeah, it's very comprehensive. And uh, I'm going to come to you with some questions throughout the interview. Uh, I'm coming on a guy that um, I am just not illiterate, video illiterate, but I really could use to watch some somebody's tutorial. And uh, it's perfect timing but uh i'm just gonna ask you you know is this for um uh, people that are experienced and somebody that is completely green and and wants to get into it what do you say for that um i personally think that when we form this course it's i mean you're kind of targeting the beginner to intermediate uh but that doesn't mean that someone that is you know a top level real estate filmmaker is not going to get mm -hmm. something from it you know because um, other than the, you know, the technical aspect of things, the, you know, from some of the actual documenting me shooting a home, you see things that maybe they, or they see same things that they might not have done before or not use. So they can actually, anybody from beginner to expert level can pull something from this course. Mm -hmm. And going down the uh, curriculum, it's just uh, the different uh, segments are uh, introduction, business and administration, tools of the trade, production on location, um, which is really big, post-production editing, which is really big too, lifestyle shoot, working with actors, which is really cool because I think people should start, even still photography, start at trying to think of going beyond what you're doing and adding lifestyle people in your shots if it's if it's appropriate. Maybe not MLS, but, but move I up agree. there. And, 
Yeah, we have a bonus content. I'm looking forward to that, but some really great topics, and uh, it looks like it covers it all to me. So, and I've watched some of it, and it's really, really top notch. Uh, very nice. Thanks, Rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think I think it definitely covers the bases. And before you know, I even start discussing some of your um, you know, your tools of the trade sections and stuff. You have a business and admin section, which I think is important because you know. There, I think there are a couple other real estate video courses out there, and I've watched all of them, and they're they're not they're not the greatest. And part of the reason is because they're not that comprehensive, and um, a lot of them just go into okay, we're on a house, we're at a house, this is what you do, and we're at the computer, this is what you do. But you know, you guys discuss pricing and and quoting and planning and all all that stuff, the pre production stuff that goes into a shoot, and you know, just from my video production experience, that could be the most important aspect of your production. If you don't plan right, especially, you know, the planning, your shot list and stuff like that, it's going to be an epic fail when you get to that day. So I think the fact that you have a section just devoted to that side of things, you know, how to properly quote people, how to, you know, prepare your shot lists and and plan. I don't know if it's necessarily shot list, but preparing for a shoot is what you call it. And, and all that stuff is, is really big plus for people. So it gives people an easy way to, once they have the tools to actually shoot and edit a video now i know how to go out and and sell this to my clients and do it properly and not screw things up where i'm going to be regretting doing this yeah i think um i think (laughs) sorry i think uh i i it's with with four of us on here i don't know if somebody's getting ready to talk so i don't want to talk over anybody but like i said uh i wanted to it, this course is different. There are at least two other courses that I know of that are out there. Both of them, you know, I haven't watched either of them because I didn't want to be influenced by them at all. Um, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of those who is not going to talk about the competition. It's like Parker Walbeck and Grant Johnson, I think. Yeah, um, they, yeah they from both Australia, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think. Um, but, you know, what I know of these courses is, you know, Parker's not a real estate videographer or, or photographer for that matter. Um, he's good at what he does. Uh I, I've watched some of his videos. I didn't watch that course. Um, so I know you'll get something out of any tutorial that you'll watch. Um, this, the, the reason this one's different is because like, I didn't make this with anybody else in mind except for me. It was a very selfish video. Again, I, I, everything you see in here are questions that I've, I had for Nick particularly. And not only that, it's the reason there's so many videos and the reason some of them are really long is because I didn't want to just see how he, you know, how do you quickly edit a, uh, you know, a clip in Final Cut Pro? I want to know not only how do you do it, but why do you do it? You know, I want to know every, I want to know why he did everything. Like it's, it's almost obsessive. So there are a lot of really longer sections because, you know, you can't just, it's, it's really like attending a workshop. It's almost around eight hours of material. And not everybody has to, you don't have to watch all eight hours of those material to get something in front of it. But if you really want to learn how somebody thinks about filmmaking, um, you know, the, this is a really good way to do it. Now, in terms of the business stuff, the reason, a lot of the business stuff is actually me talking because you guys have talked to me in the past. I'm more of a, the business mind of things. Not saying Nick isn't, but I think when him and I were planning this out, um, I don't know. It's just like there, there were certain things that he said that, that I wanted to include. There were certain things that I had talked about that I wanted to include. So while I think the course is focused on Nick, um, I had, I had some things that I wanted to add in there as well. So a lot of the business things, it's not like, you know, how to write a business plan or it's not in depth. It's more just touching on how people can think about certain business things like pricing. I don't tell people how to price. I tell people how to think about pricing. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and things of that nature. There's also a section on like how to do Facebook ads. I don't tell you how to do Facebook ads. I say, I show you how you can, what, like what the, what the back end looks like, how you can think about them, you know, what retargeting is and, and things like that. So I don't you know. know I'm going to stop you for a second because yeah. you know, I've watched the Facebook section. Uh, what is it? It's 22 minutes. I'm looking at it. I've watched it. And, um, you know, I've spoken to you in depth about Facebook advertising, you know, off the air. And I've done my own Facebook adver- uh, advertising um, as far as retargeting with some of my e-commerce businesses. Um, but I've never done it for this. And I think, you know, 
that uh, that one video alone might be worth the price of this whole thing and it has nothing to do with real estate video because that's something that can um apply to a photographer any photographer even it has nothing to do with you know real estate video in particular anybody that's any type of service provider can literally use you know what you're teaching in the you know in the facebook advertising video and it's not it's not an in-depth video uh, you know i'll be the first to admit it but there's enough there where people can kind of grasp how to get started in facebook advertising so i think that's a huge addition to this video um just not even from a real estate video for pers perspective for, for anybody that's offering any type of service whether it's photography floor plans matterport anyone you know if you if you can start advertising very targeted on facebook it will definitely put you ahead of your competition yeah and i feel that um i really like that this is for the, and I call it in the trenches videographer, real estate photographer. This is really, as the other videos might touch upon and do a pretty good job of it. You, uh, Jordan and Nick, you're just, this is what you do. And this is really um, dealing with in depth with all the things you've really thought this out well. It's, it touches base on all these things that might not be addressed um, by by other offerings. So I'm really impressed. And uh, I, I really think that watching this whole thing, by the way, how long, if you put it back to back, how long would this whole course be? As in how many hours it would take yeah. to watch it? Yeah, or how many days, it, yeah. Um, uh, well, it's actually, uh, I think, eight hours of footage, right, Jordan? It's about, yeah, it's about eight total hours of content. But again, it's we broke it up into sections. Yeah. Uh, to where you don't have to watch all of it. You can watch what you want to learn and leave the rest of it if you want. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? So for so instance, if you want to watch like, uh, you know, types of cameras or shooting in log, those are each individual section. So, you know, if you only have 20 minutes to watch a couple of videos, um, you can jump on, watch a couple of videos and then go on with your day rather than, you know, feeling like you have to stop, pause and then go to work or whatever, whatever you have to do. And is it, what's the format? Is this a downloadable? Do you log on? What's the what's the situation? Because uh, tutorials tend to be very different. Uh, so what's how does one go about watching these? And can they watch them offline? Do you have to be online? What's that story? Yeah, we wanted to make it as convenient as possible, and um, you know, also not take up space. You, we wanted people to be able to watch it wherever. So we we opted out of doing the you know in, in our in our industry at least. Traditionally, you download um, a bunch of zip, fo zip folders with like gigs of, of, you know, videos. We have, there's a platform called Teachable that we use. Um, and the nice part about that is it comes with an app. So you can actually just download the Teachable app. You can watch it from any device. You can download the, uh, the files to, like, within the app so that you can watch them offline. Um, you can watch, again, from anywhere you want. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to Mexico and I uh, for Christmas, and I might just uh, take a little bit of your tutorial to go with all the other stuff I gotta gotta watch. So it's gonna be you know, fun. And Rich, uh, you know, to your point, you're not really much. You know, you you said you don't really touch video. Um, <laughs> well, no, but but I'm saying there, there's things in there that I, I you think know. Rich has could, more motion picture uh, experience than any of us, than uh, of us combined. Yeah. Thirty true. thirty years, but I never made the. I was uh, around the the camera department. But I never yeah. never was in it. But go that's ahead. Still, that still counts. You take the you, yeah. you, you top all of us. So I, go I was ahead. just gonna say. I was just gonna say. You know, um, like cinematography can also be applied to. You know, we touched on it a little bit, but including people in your shots, like doing lifestyle type photo shoots, especially as you're focusing more on design work as well. You know what I mean? Like it's, I'm not saying go buy this course to learn that. I'm just saying like, you know, as you're watching some of these, it might, it might get you to like think about things a little different. Um, I mean, I don't know because I'm not looking at it from a photographer's point of view. I'm looking at it from a a video person's point of view. But I don't, I don't think it's any different because, you know, as I start doing, um, you know, more design work from a, a still photography standpoint and I start using people, um, I think using talent helps tell the story better. And, you know, when you're, when you're doing video, for instance, I don't think it's much different. You know, if I'm just, you know, shooting, um, you know, stable, stabilized shots or drone shots, it's hard to tell a story just showing rooms, you know what I mean? But once you bring talent in there, you're able to, uh, to put a story behind that talent and let them do whatever they're doing um, to kind of just tell that story. And it helps, 
make things feel a little more well-rounded, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I'd like to actually hear Nick's uh, perspective. I mean, not to put you on the spot, but, you know, like why, I don't know if I've ever actually asked you this <laughs> question, but like why, why did you opt to, to do this kind of filmmaking where it's like storytelling and cinematic and, you know. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to take all the credit for it. Uh, when I was first doing these ranch films, um, you know, integrating someone on horseback or someone, you know, running cattle. Uh, it just happened to, that happened to happen while I was shooting. And then one of the clients is one of the client's friends that was, um, you know, kind of there just for the video. Um, he said to me, he's like, you know, why don't you get some cool tight shots of, um, you know, me putting on my boots and the spurs and then, you know, kind of create a story out of it. And then from there, you know, um, you know, I was you know, inspired by other people's work. And then while watching movies and stuff, I took little bits of, you know, shots that I thought looked cool that I could pull off. And I thought to myself, as well as showing other people, um, integrating talent within the actual, you know, image uh, keeps the viewer's attention longer. And it actually helps me into uh, when it comes to actually shooting, because um, rather than showing a room, like Brian said, with nothing in it, if you have something like maybe someone's up against the window looking out at, you know, side of the window or something, it just makes that so much more interesting. So, you know, I, that's probably, that's where it started. And, um, ever since then it makes it my job a lot easier when I can integrate talent. Sometimes it's a little bit more, you know, complicated, but, um, developing those small stories within a larger story makes, uh, shooting it and assembling it so much easier than just shooting static objects that, you know, aren't moving or don't have life. This episode of Shooting Spaces is brought to you by HD Photo Hub. With modern marketing tools for your clients and a powerful back office to help you stay organized and efficient, HD Photo Hub is the secret weapon of successful real estate photographers everywhere. When you register with promo code Shooting Spaces, you'll get a free total marketing kit for your first property. Check them out at hdphotohub.com. HD Photo Hub, where great photos become powerful marketing. That's hdphotohub.com. And I'd like to clarify, um, if anybody out there is going, ooh, cinematography, I don't want to learn. I, I just want to learn how to do a, a video with empty rooms. But no, I think that there are, um, there are elements throughout this that will appeal to all levels and anybody that wants to do uh, go this far or this far. And it's, it's great. And uh, if I can, I'd like to just ask you for me, part of what I really need help with is the nuts and bolts of, of editing, um, understanding the, the basics to how do you put it together? How do you lay tracks up? And I'm asking today, just somebody I asked, how do I put a, a B roll? Uh, how do I, the mm -hmm. B-roll parts in with an A-roll. This is stuff that we can all learn from, right, in the video? I Absolutely. Mean, you can easily find, and that's the other thing, too, is I think it's really easy to go down the list of, of chapters and, um, and each little piece and find out exactly what you need so you're not going through this big, long thing. It is really pinpointable, and uh, everything's laid out really well. So, um, Yeah, I, I think that one thing about, you know, the post-production uh, portion of the courses, you know, it shows me assembling one of the, uh, you know, documents or, uh, when Jordan documented me shooting a home, it shows me assembling that, you know, same project. Um, I do start from, you know, the beginning and, you know, my process of bringing in footage and stuff like that. But, um, what, what platform is it? Uh, this is for final cut pro 10, but Jordan, I think covered it on premiere and resolve and the same. So everybody, you know, that pretty much all editing, you know, platforms okay. are covered. Oh, so you've got um, not only Resolve, uh, Da Vinci, wait, Da Vinci yes. Resolve, right? Yeah. Da, yes, da Vinci. Sir. You've got the, um, what are the other uh, platforms? Uh, Final Cut Pro, which I use, so I'm yeah. excited. Final Cut Pro, which is I'm an Apple to, product, um, yeah. To watch those videos and Premiere, uh -huh. right? Yep. Yeah, those are pretty much the top so, three. Yeah, so, yeah. so Nick basically edited the entire thing. Uh, it's all documented, the entire thing from start to finish in Final Cut Pro. Um, but I know that a lot of people use Premiere, a lot of people use Resolve, so we thought it would be wise to show what it's like to edit in each of those platforms. I didn't do the fu a full edit in Premiere and, and Resolve, but I did show assembling footage, uh, you know, short keys, how to do like, um, you know, 
just the basic things we need to do in real estate, correcting perspectives, um, stabilizing footage, trimming footage, like some basic editing, as well as color grading uh, in both Premiere and DaVinci Resolve, as well as exporting. Well, let me ask you here, I'm, I'm scrolling down to the very bottom, and you've got a uh, chapter that says, coming soon, it's uh, creating cinematic videos with a smartphone. What's up with that? So, uh, Tacey uh, Jungman, who we all know and love. I could be she, a filmmaker, uh, okay. Yeah, she, uh, <laughs> so I never thought about making video with, with phones until I heard her podcast uh, with you guys. And mm -hmm. I literally bought a Movi Cinema Robot that day along with some Movi lenses. <laughs> and I, I started offering it as a service where I would charge, you know, half, half price for those. And I would make these one minute long just walkthrough videos with them. But I was, I was just kind of thinking to myself, okay, if I'm somebody who doesn't do video at all, who doesn't want to invest in all equipment, like what's the lowest possible budget or amount of money you can spend to still make a cinematic video? So what I did was I basically filmed an entire house using just my iPhone and moment lenses and the Movi, which the whole rig itself costs about 600 bucks if you don't consider the phone. Um, but I, I essentially made a video using Nick's, um, like the same techniques that he uses. And I assemble that all as well and show you that you can, you can do this stuff even with a phone. You just, of course, there's limitations. You know, you're not going to have the same dynamic range or color uh, capabilities, but you can still make a captivating video with just your phone. It doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to look bad. So we do cover that. Well, Tacey has shown us and several other people too have shown us how, um, you know, it, it isn't, uh, it is limited uh, by, by virtue of the, uh, the technology, but it is really, uh, you can utilize so much in this video that you can utilize with a, a uh, what are you, you're using a pocket, uh, what are you using there, Nick, the uh, pocket? Uh, yeah, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, so it's a cinema camera. Cool, cool camera. It's amazing that the, the uh, equipment now, but you can either use that or you could use uh, whatever you want. And now a um, an iPhone can act absolutely produce because I've seen Tacey's videos and several other people, really great quality. And, uh, you know, you're still using all the uh, techniques in the video, right? With uh, editing techniques and such, that doesn't really change that much, does it? It doesn't. And I, I make the assumption that people have watched those sections, so I don't explain what I'm doing, but I, I show a little bit of just like, you see me moving and you see me doing the same kind of moves that Nick was doing. Uh, you know, so it's, it's all there. I just, it's, I didn't want it to be a super long tutorial because <clears throat> again, I made the assumption that you've already watched Nick's, uh, you know, Nick's entire shoot with the standard home. Cool stuff. Now I'm looking at your, uh, I know we're jumping around in your curriculum line here, but I'm looking at your tools of the trade. And I think for people that are just starting to get into video, this might be the most valuable section because, you know, we all know ISO and shutter speed and, and aperture and all that stuff, but, you know, stuff like um, color space and bit depth and all that stuff, which is, you know, I guess terms and lingo, you have to kind of learn if you're going to start doing video, um, you kind of go in depth and there's, there's what, like 10 or 15 videos here, which just go into all the different terms and settings that you need to do to set the same camera, which I'm sure most people are probably using the same camera they're going to use for stills are going to shoot video, but how to kind of take that same camera and adjust their settings accordingly and produce quality video, um, based on what you're teaching them. So I think that's going to be one of the most valuable and maybe underestimated sections in this entire, entire uh, tutorial. No pressure, but Nick, I'm going to have you kind of talk about it for a little bit because like the, that was kind of a last minute decision to make that section. Mm -hmm. because we, we didn't want to make it, we didn't want to make this a technical course and neither one of us are super technical. I mean, Nick's probably more than I am, but you know, <laughs> We're not like scientists, camera scientists or color scientists. Yeah. Right. Like there, there's people that could rattle this stuff off significantly better than us. But I, my thought was, you know, if I could get Nick to kind of explain this in layman terms to help me even understand it a little better. No, that for sure. And that's it, important. It you know, you, you need to understand and teach people what shooting in log means. And then at least at that point, they can make an educated decision. Do I want to do this or do I just want to shoot the standard profile and make it easier for me in post? Um, so, but people have to understand the different options and, and what might be better or worse. And then at that point, at least they can make a more educated decision based on how they want to properly shoot their properties. So, 
Yeah, I think that, you know, when I went up, when I did that section, um, I learned a ton of stuff because I knew that obviously, you know, 10 bit is better than 8 bit when it comes to the image quality. But what I, you know, what I didn't know is the actual technical aspects behind it. And then when I learned that it was, you know, it's been nice to be able to tell the rest of the audience of viewers of the course, um, you know, if they have the opportunity to shoot 10 bit over 8 bit, then why not do it? Or, you know, when it comes to the log picture profile, which I believe has really set my work, um, it's, it's raised the level of my work um, from what it used to be because I didn't used to shoot in logs. I didn't know how, but once I realized how to shoot log, um, I feel like trying to create a film um, has, it's made the look of the film too, you know? So um, yeah, that section should be very um, helpful for a lot of people that are just getting into it. And even guys that are experts might even pull some stuff from it. Yeah. There might, there might even be some guys who are experts who tell us we, <laughs> we did it wrong, but I'm just Absolutely. saying, it's like, it's, you know, we're, 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 you know, it's the, the, the thing is this course is, I, I would say it's, it's an intermediate course that's very beginner friendly. Uh, so it's, 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 you know, you're, you'll definitely take something from that section. I mean, I even did, uh, but you know, again, we're not going to go so super in depth to where, you know what I mean? It, it answers every question you could possibly have about any given subject. You know what I mean? It's, it's a, it's to help you comprehend the concepts and make informed decisions when you're like choosing a camera or, if you need to have a conversation about it with somebody, you, you're better equipped to have that conversation. Do you want to go a little bit, uh, Jordan, just kind of discuss how this is, this course, the, you know, the different sections we have now is not really the end of the course that we're going to try our best to answer any of the questions that come up from after viewers see it as well as adding to the course. Yeah. So that bonus section, the, the last section is a bonus section and that section is really just reserved for, you know, as people are enrolling in the course and they start asking questions that we didn't cover in the course, we wanted to leave room to just add new content there. So I think right now, as of right now, there's two videos uh, that are uh, like uh, ready to be in there. One's the filming with an iPhone. I can't remember what the other one is off the top of my head. Drone cinematography. Yeah, me. drone cinematography. So, so just questions that come up that we either didn't cover in the course or if people want more information on or if, you know, down the road, Nick and I decided, you know, hey, it might be kind of cool to cover this. Uh, so we're definitely going to continue to add to the course uh, when applicable. I mean, I'm not going to promise that we're going to have a new video every week or every, every month. Um, I don't, I don't want to make videos just for the sake of making videos. I want to make videos that are going to add value to the, the members in the course. Cool. And I think what's also, uh, cool. I'm sorry. I was just going to say any plans for workshops or any add on things to this. Uh, we literally didn't even talk about that until like we, we mentioned it today because somebody had asked us about it. Um, that wasn't really the goal to um, like Nick's, if you guys hadn't gathered, like Nick's not like all putting himself out there and like being all showy. Like he's, he's a pretty humble guy. Like he, like, again, he never would have probably thought about making a course like this. Um, if you, again, if you search his name in the Facebook groups, you'll see him, you'll see two things. You'll see videos he's shared in the past. You'll see comments where he's going on and like answering every question that people ask humbly. And he's also given advice. So like, you know, he kind of lurks in the shadows, <laughs> but, um, so the, the, the idea was never to have a workshop and I didn't want to make a course of my own because you guys know, I put content out there from time to time and. I don't want to be known as the video guy because that's not my thing. I just want to do video better when I, when I want to use it. So sure. You know, I think I was gonna say, I think Rich and I will be the first to tell you that, um, your, your goal is never really what, it, what it turns out to be because right. you know, th this podcast turned into, uh, <laughs> many different things from its original inception, but you know, I right. guess just, you know, take it how it goes and take it day by day. Yeah, for um, sure. but, um, you know, I think it's also cool because you talk, you discuss drones, you talk about gimbals, you talk about the different um, apparatus, if you want to call it that, that you need to, um, you know, properly shoot these videos. So, you know, just looking through this, I mean, I really think this will give people a really good little kick in the butt to kind of go and, and try this stuff. And, you know, I want, I, you know, me personally, I want people to understand that just because, you know, you're teaching 
how to do shots with drones and how to do shots with gimbals. It doesn't mean you have to go out and, you know, spend two grand on a drone and spend, you know, $1,500 on a movie system. Um, go out and start with a tripod if you want, you know, start, start simple and, and, you know, see where it goes and don't feel the need to have to go out and say to yourself, well, unless I invest in a good drone and a good gimbal and a good slider, whatever you use, I, I haven't watched that section yet. Um, I can't make these videos. So, um, I think for anybody listening that, that wants to start getting into video, I think, um, you know, your walk through your on location production will give people a good insight as to, you know, what they need to try to achieve on site, but, you know, be creative in using the equipment that they, that you already have and try to produce some quality work with that. And then as you start building and you start charging more and you're at the point where, you know, you can start getting four or five, six hundred dollars or a thousand plus, hopefully for these videos, then you start investing in the, in the bigger gear. And yeah. it also a great thing is, I mean, what I would do um, as, and I probably will do is, as I'll just go in my uh, office, I'll go through a chapter or two, I'll learn some stuff, I'll work it on the camera, I'll go to one of my rooms in my house, practice on my own, and uh, just keep watching it till I feel comfortable, and then go out on and and shoot a real house. So you, you know, you can do it at your own house and learn there take all the pressure off it. And by the end of Christmas and uh, New Year's, you can actually go out there and start shooting some videos. So it's really exciting. It's all there. Yeah. Uh, one thing just to add about the the walkthrough section. So we, we literally documented the entire walkthrough or uh, shoot, shoot process from start to finish. The only time, the only things you don't see are us pausing and switching camera angles. Um, but we didn't pre-plan anything. It's literally... Like Nick, it's a 13, and that's another thing too. Like most tutorials you see, they're in like the most nicest of homes, bright white, perfect decor, uh, like the perfect circumstances. This is a 1300 square foot home on a snowy day in Southern Minnesota. It's like overcast. Uh, the lights were like, the light was just like constantly changing. So like it, it, it we, we wanted to put people in an everyday scenario. Well, maybe not for people in California, but like, you know, it's, it's snowy here. Um, so it's not, it's not the most beautiful house, but the, the value in this section, it's, it's pretty long, but he literally thinks through everything he does. So you can kind of see, you know what I mean? Like w even, we even show the mistakes. Like when he, like he almost trips at one point and we, we kept it in there and, uh, <laughs> You know, he did like three different shots of this of this bathroom because he just he wanted to make sure he got it and he was just trying different things. So, you know, it's not it's not about the gear, it's not about the equipment, it's about the thought process, it's about the why behind he makes behind why he makes those decisions. And, and the preparation, off, yeah, and the preparation. Uh, mm -hmm. Piggybacking off of Jordan, uh, one thing to keep in mind is you know this is a instructional course. Um, you know, if anybody has seen my videos or even Jordan's videos, um, you know, we did our best to, you know, have good audio and good lighting when it comes to actually, um, you know, shooting the course. But, um, you know, the the meat and potatoes are in actually what you're learning rather than the visuals. Um, that doesn't mean that the visuals are bad. It's just not shot like a, you know, it's not the whole course, not shot like a film. So that's just something to keep in mind for, you know, the audience. Okay. Awesome, man. I'm assuming there's somewhere also in the course or somewhere out there where people can actually watch the video that you shot, like the final version of it. Um, yeah, I think it's in the course. Uh, correct. Yeah, it's, it's actually right in the beginning. So before you even start uh, watching the walkthrough, it says, uh, I think it's like section 4.0. It's the final product. So you see the final product first and then you see Nick like like shortly after we arrive all the way till we wrap it up to to wrap up and yeah all right cool so we're running low on time um so that being said um i also want to add before i even go there you also have a facebook group as well um for people that purchase this course correct yeah thank you we have a private facebook group um you will get access to it once you purchase the course there's a um a link inside the course that'll get you there um yeah, it's, it's, you know, obviously it's new, so we don't have a ton of content in there yet, but we want to make the course, uh, you know, we, we just want people to feel safe posting in there. We want to see people's progress, asking any questions that they have. Um, we want to be able to share these videos and um, I don't know, we just want it to be focused on like, 
I don't know, not, not, there's nothing wrong with the, the video groups that we have, like Rich, you have one and they're, they're all good groups, but we just wanted something that's a little more close and, 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 you know, a little more tight knit to where people feel a little bit more safe posting and not worrying about getting, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, I do a private group for my Facebook, uh, for my workshop attendees, and it's the same thing. It's uh, You can just do updates, and, and it is a community that, uh, you know, everybody's kind of in the same place, and, and it, it is a little safer feeling, so that's a great thing. More intimate. Yeah, everybody can watch each other grow together. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so let's talk about pricing, because I'm sure everybody that's been listening for the last uh, whatever, Wait, it, 45 it's, minutes. It's now hour, free? What? One, two, one, I didn't know about this. They're, they're hearing that free? you have 80 videos and eight hours of content, and people are probably like, oh my gosh, this is going to, you know. Yeah, like, so, uh, you know, Parker Wallbach's course is 197. Uh, that's four hours of content. Uh, I think Gary or Grant. Uh, Johnson's is like sixty some dollars. That's about four hours of content as well. Ours is two ninety seven, um, and again, it's it's not about the amount of content. It's about the value. We uh, well, I'll tell you, we've had we had about eight people go through it as beta testers, and this course has been refined based on feedback from people within the community, and uh, we all know some of them. So, I mean, we we pr- intentionally told them rip us apart. <laughs> Give us all the negative feedback you can give because and we've we've reshot these videos. In fact, most of what we filmed in California, like we 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 refilmed a lot of it because we wanted it to be as good as we possibly could make it. Um, So and and still get it out before Christmas, uh, before the the slow season. So yeah, the total price is two ninety seven. But well, look when when you you say eight hours of content and um, eighty or so videos. even if you're at an entry level video and you're just getting into this, you're going to charge at least three hundred dollars for, yeah. for the videos. So, at the end of the day, you shoot one video and you're ready in the positive. So, when you look at it that way, um, that price for you know the comprehensive course like this is pretty valuable. It's it's a pretty good deal. I mean, you're gonna. Yeah. I I don't know what else out there you can literally pay for and see your return on investment with your first job out. There's not much. So. Yeah, in, in fact, I'm going to be making uh, in that bonus section. I'm going to make a video that tells you how to get that, how to get your money back, what you paid for this course, with with ju- with uh, just a couple like techniques that can they can do with uh, some of the agents they work with. So that'll be coming soon, hopefully. So I mean, it's it's valuable. It's just I'm not, you know, I've never put anything paid out. I don't, I didn't, I didn't want to, like I didn't intend to like get people to know me. I didn't make a, a YouTube channel to build like notoriety or anything like that. I, I built it to help people. I didn't, I had no intention of doing this. So it's like, I, like I've always been kind of skeptical of courses because of, you know, I, I you know, you never know what you're going to get out of a course, you know what I mean? And, and paying any money, um, you know, it can be a lot of money to some people. So I, I always get uncomfortable talking about charging because of this, this was really a course for me. Um, like it's, it's the most selfish thing I've ever done. It really, it's, it's, I, I wanted to, every question in there was not from the community. It was from me. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how that comes off, but that's, the, that was the intention. So I don't know. All right, cool. But, um, you uh, we spoke about this earlier and you're able to offer our listeners a nice discount. So, um, you know, we worked out something before, before with you guys. And, um, what we came up with is anybody that listens to the podcast or our webinars or anywhere else, they're able to take 10% off your course. And as far as I'm aware, this will be in perpetuity, right? This is no, there's no expiration date. This will go on as long as your course, course is available for sale, correct? Yep. It'll always be there. All right. So if anybody's interested in the course and wants to take advantage of their 10% off, shootingspaces.net slash real estate video. Um, and that'll take you right to their course page with um, the discount. Now, I know Jordan, you and I were discussing this early. Teachable is a little bit weird in this circumstance. So I'm just going to explain to everyone. When you get to that page and you're interested in checking out, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see that 10% discount. For some reason, they don't take the discount off the top. But if you go to shootingspaces.net slash real estate video and then scroll to the bottom of the page, that's where you'll see the options of purchasing the course with that discount. That yeah. It, it's most likely user error because I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sure there's an easy way to do it, but I haven't figured it out yet. So <laughs> If just make sure you, it will show you the price of the course. Um, just make sure it shows the discount on there again. The regular price is two ninety seven. So if if you 
go to that URL and you don't see uh, the, the discount on there, the 10% off, uh, you can email us at support at revideotraining.com. Yeah, or even email us and we'll get it worked out for you somehow or yep. another. All right, cool. Well, I want to thank you guys for uh, coming on and uh, shedding some light into this tutorial. I think it's going to be not only a huge success for you, but I think a huge success for a lot of people in our industry and taking their businesses to a new level for 2020. And I think it's the perfect time to release this and get, um, as everyone's kind of regrouping this winter and kind of figuring out where they want to go with their businesses next year, um, for $300, you can take your business to a whole new level. And th there's no reason in, in the first year doing this, you, you know, people can't bring 10, 15, $20,000 additional to their business doing this without, without a problem. And that's without trying even. So, yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for having us on. I really appreciate it. All right, cool. So again, I'm just going to say it one more time, shootingspaces.net slash real estate video, scroll to the bottom and you will see, um, the course with, um, 10% off. And, uh, I think that, that about wraps it up. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. And thank you, Jordan. Uh, wonderful, wonderful time. And I, uh, I can vouch for these two gentlemen, good guys and uh, excellent at what they do. I've worked with both of them and just uh, really, um, really, really uh, believe in them. So uh, I just want to say everybody out there, please subscribe to shootingspacespodcast.com and uh, go on to shootingspaces.net for all our information, our webinars, things like that. And do leave and ask the guys on the uh, Shooting Spaces podcast page. Yeah, we need some of those. I think we yeah. only have like three left or something, Rich. Two left. We're running low. So uh, we got to do it. We got to do it. But everybody, go have a Jordan, great we need holiday. You to some ask the guys in a, a different voice. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you guys some video questions. Make sure you watch and the course. We can have, right, you we'll have you answer. We'll have a professional yeah. on to answer them. Yeah. But uh, it's a really exciting time of the year. Um, go out there, and it's so exciting with this new video. So everybody go out there and have just a fantastic time for the rest of this year. And 2020 is coming up. I got a lot of big plans uh, in Richard, 2020. in a few days, huh? Yeah, I don't want to go into that. Not yet. Okay. Um, but I'm, <laughs> we're still, I'm still here. I'm we're still, still going to be releasing uh, podcast episodes while Rich is... We got some really great podcasts coming up. And then actually, we're, we're still riding the high. Uh, Jordan, how was the, uh, how was the um, PFRE um, conference in Vegas? Did you have oh, a good I mean, time? Yeah, it was amazing. It was, you know, I got to finally see you guys uh, meet for the first time, which was romantic. And, uh, <laughs> you know, getting to meet everybody in person that we, that we've all known over the years, it was a, it was a blast. And Brandon just knocked it out of the park, like every single detail. He, he put out a form recently about, uh, any feedback. I literally could not think of one thing that he could have improved on. Like he just way exceeded my expectations. So, yeah. And to have dinner with you and Brian and, and Casey and Sam Chen, and what a great opportunity. Uh -huh. I, I, uh, prime rib in Vegas, nothing better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. And Nick, I'll just leave Nick, you guys. Hopefully, we'll see you, uh, the next year there. Yeah. No, I'll be, I'll be there next year. Yeah. And, uh, maybe I'll come up and visit you around Christmas time. So, there we go. Okay. Victorian Christmas in Nevada City. Well, great. speaking of PFRE, we're going to release, I think, in, uh, maybe two weeks or three weeks. We haven't figured out the exact date, the final panel, um, from PFRE conference, which had, I think, all eight panelists together, mm -hmm. except for Nancy Smith. We're going to be releasing that as an episode. So yeah. definitely, uh, you know, look out for that in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, Rich and I, you have, we've spoken about this and I think Jordan, you can agree that last panel was probably one of the highlights of the entire event. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was certainly valuable. I mean, it was, uh, I, everything about the event was just far exceeded my expectations though, yeah. for sure. All right, cool. So okay. thanks again, guys, for coming on rich. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. Well, yeah, everybody. A pleasure, gentlemen. Yeah. Pleasure, man. What a great time. So listen, everybody go have a great holiday season and, and, uh, we're still going to do a couple more podcasts before the end of the year, but, uh, just want to wish you all the best and go out and shoot better and smarter and just go shoot some spaces. Okay. This episode is brought to you by iGuide iGuide makes it easy for you to quickly capture laser accurate room measurements and square footage calculations, immersive 3D tours, detailed floor plans, and offer a complete listing solution to real estate agents and brokers. With iGuide, you stand out from your competition. Get your first three standard iGuide tours free by adding shooting spaces in the referral section at purchase. Visit goiguide.com to learn more. 
This has been Shooting Spaces. For more episodes, visit shootingspacespodcast.com and visit our education site at shootingspaces.net.